Fargo. The crocodile's d- dilemma. They won't. She won't stop, you know. Day after, I was a maker. I hope they do it tonight when she's sleeping. But I'm scared. She said I've got to have a meat, make a meatloaf. I said we bring jello salad. But Kitty said meatloaf. So, hon. So what's that, hon? I said it's Jerome's birthday tonight. We're supposed to be at your brother's at four o'clock. The meatloaf turns uh, different today, don't you think? I like angry. I was in towels. It's towel sound. Kitty said you just got one of those fancy European all in ones. Says it washes and dries. One machine? Can you believe that? Bet you that set them back a penny. We can afford it, your brother. Can you say you got a big promotion? I've run only working there a year. Kitty said you got one of those fancy new surround sound systems. Guess I ran the wrong new goat. Ha <laughs> ha What's that? That's, that's what I said. He's, he had a good laugh. Well, just not got slow now at the shop. Oh, hun, that's why you you always say slow. Well, but you get a lot to it. You make your own wins. That's why Kitty and Chaz told her. So men make their own wins. You've got to try harder, hun. Smile for Pete's sake. But you wear a nice tie. You gave me this tie. Well, if you're, any be- if you're a better salesman, I bought you a nicer tie. At least take a look. I may I f- keep thinking maybe it's the settings, Kitty. So he tries fixes things around the house all the time. Says he took the toaster pot over the weekend. But it's now as good as new. Browns to beat the band. So that's, uh, like I said, there's two kind of policies you should be thinking about. You've got the whole life and you've got all life plus. We've covered the same benefits of the whole life plus a heck of a lot more. Well, we just came in to get Charlene on my health care. I count on having a baby. Yeah, a boy we're hoping. Oh, a little girl. Just about to hug her pants off a little. I just about to hug pants off a little girl. Oh, yeah, well, uh, even more. All of the reason. Uh, because what happens? What happens? You go to an accident at your job. Oh, I've got a lobby. Okay. What happens if a car crash and you go out to the worship screen? Oh, say so you make up a ladder, clean. You're up a ladder, clean the gutters, and you fall off the damn thing and break your neck. These things happen every day. People fall asleep, smoking in bed. They learn to death. What I'm saying is the morgue is full of guys thought they didn't need life insurance. For a peace of mind, I'm saying to know that little boy, know that your little boy or girl, right, or little girl has been taken care of. We're supposed to be at my mum's at four o'clock. You say, yeah. So we're going to be okay. Well, at least give me, let me give you a brochure. Oh, I've got these pens. I've got these nifty, nifty pens. Look at this, that, huh? With what? Most, most colours. Well, okay, well, you change your mind then. Uh, give me a, a heck. Well, look at that. What is it, Dad? Yeah, Dad, what is it? Hey, hey, Sam. There's a bo- there, the boys is a black man. Don't look black, Dad? Yeah, Dad, you don't look black. More like a big pumpkin, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, like a big stupid pumpkin. Very stern Lingard. Cal, come on, Sam. It's Lingard. I've got just got. I'm just a little, just like in high school. Went to high school with a black man, Dad. Yeah, Dad, did you? Shut up. How you been, Lester? Oh, you're yeah, all good. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, trucking company doing super. Got rigs all over the Great Lakes. Just bought a summer house up Bell Island. Hey, it's pretty sweet. Hey, you remember the story I told you? A boy, I put in the oil drum, I rolled into the highway. Is that him, Dad? Yeah, Dad, that's him. Oh, you want to betcha, betcha. Good old Lester Pencil Dick. So, hey, say, Lester, what was the name of the girl that went to school, high school? You know, the curvy one, it's Pearl. Pearl, what a wreck on that girl. Her Dad says, He's, she had little t- big titties. Yeah, I know what rack means, you fairy. Ow. Oh. Yeah, Dad. Ow. You, st- you know, she gave me a heart tug once. Homecoming senior every year. That was nice, fat hands. Real soft. We're married now. Going on 18 years. Oh, Dad, that's embarrassing. Yeah, Dad, super embarrassing. Yeah, well, that's something. Never knew that she, what she saw in you, really. Oh, well. 
No, I mean, I, know, I mean, help, I mean, help me out. Is this your stupid dick, pencil dick, or your little rat face? Well, I should get back it, uh, back it, back to it. Oh, cool. come on! Did I ever tell you I used to beat this little way up in high school? I write my name in my fist and sharpie, for I punched him. So everyone else that knew who did it. That's a very good. That's a good one, Dad. Yeah, Dad, real good one. Remember? Yeah, it's a long time ago. But what a, what a day. No, excuse me, miss. Do you think uh, you would make me much longer? If this, thing's hurt, this thing hurts like Dickens, we'll call, you, we'll call your name. Yeah, I've been here an hour already. We'll call your name. Can I have a sip? Heck, take the whole can. Don't drink the damn thing without a straw. Obliged. What happened to your nose? Oh, it was uh, just a misunderstanding. Now, this, this was this. Now, this understand, misunderstanding the other fella, or him understanding you. Pardon? We understood who? Oh, no. What I'm saying is, it's not good to dwell on these things. Hey, pardon. Why is it not good to dwell on these things? Especially things that don't put you in hospital. Well, I was um, outnumbered. I want to know the truth. If you want to know the truth. Three to one. I mean, big guys, too. Well, one of them. Over two, over two were just kids, but big, but big for their age, you know. If I any kind of man, I was shown that Sam's, what's, what's that? Sam Hess, bully high school. He's a bully now. So why did, didn't they, yeah, show him what, what? Well, he's, he's got his sons with him. And you let the man beat you up in front of his children to send you a message? No, that's, no, that's not heck, just heck. I mean, my experience, you let a man break your nose the next time he tries to break your spine. Sam, oh, no way. I mean, I don't think it's just, I guess, I embarrassed him in front of his boys. You embarrassed him? Yeah. Yeah, he's telling me about the time where me and my wife were, uh, didn't he, you know, she was wife is a thing. And he told, I told him, what, this man slept with your wife? You're worried about embarrassing him? Oh, huh? Not slept, no. They didn't. He said it was just, just, just you saw fans, see? I guess, no, mister, we're not friends. I mean, maybe we will be someday. I'm going to say, if there were, were me in that position, I would kill that man. Well, not now. Come on, you said bullied. You you said he bullied you in high school, right? Four years. Give me an ulcer. You know that one time he put me in the oil drum, bell and rolled me down the, in the road. Seriously, now he tells you he's a relationship with your wife. He bullies you again in front of children. This man doesn't deserve for broad breath. You're okay. But here's the thing. No, that is that is a thing. Well, heck, I mean, okay. Okay. But what am I supposed to do? Heck, you're sure about it? Maybe you should just kill him for me. You're asking me to kill this man? No, that was, that, that was, I was joking. Mr. Guard? Oh, yeah, it's me. Well, just one second. We're just two fellows talking, right? We're just blowing off steam. Sir, a bit, I'm a bit busy. Like I said, one second. Sam Hess. No, just one second. That's, it's not. Sir, so just one word, yes or no? Sir, so I'm going to give you a spot. Hey, uh, yeah, hey, I'm coming. For peace sake, gold enough for your chief? Supposed to get down to t- uh, Marion Stanley, yeah? Yeah, I heard that. Not much like the sound of the negative, but it's stripped down to my shorts, well, on my tan. So what's this here then? Chief, I ride at scene at 1300 hours. That is 93 U- U- Yorker. Looks like she's fled the road. And crashed the fence. I found a set of footprints leading that away from the car. Pop, thought possibly our driver injured. You know, got confused, wandered in the woods. I was just about to investigate. There's blood here. Hell, here too. Yeah, saw that. I was thinking maybe a deer, but I couldn't find the evidence. So here it is. Son of a gun. Blood on the steering wheel. Driver could have hit his head or her head. You check the trunk. No, sir. You want, you go want to take a look at those footprints then? Sounds good. How's Ida? Ida. Any day now. She got a got her name picked out? Can't get that woman to decide what colour of paint in the nursery. Can't believe I missed that deer in the trunk. Don't take it hard. Been doing this a long time. Never checked for a deer in the trunk. Or any wildlife chief. Hi hun. In the kitchen. Something smells good. A boy wanted a boy your boy wanted a hamburger. Sounds like my boy. Molly found a wreck out of night on nineteen seventy one. How's she doing, Molly? Yeah, good. Always liked her. Yeah, she's a peach. Anyhow, looks like the driver tried to head out to foot. 
You got lost and froze to death in the woods. Yeah, funny thing is, the fellow was just wearing underpants. That's so? Yeah. Do I do nothing? Can't find his clothes anywhere. Maybe he's at them. I was thinking about Baby Blue or Flora Nursery. Oh, yeah. Earlier I was thinking about Baby Blue. Changed my mind. Blue's nice. Maybe green. We're ready to get painting. Good. Soon as you decide, you're a good man, Avern Truman. My sister was crazy telling me to not marry you. Your sister is crazy. Dad said she, we could take turns. Yeah, Dad said you he used to think you've got a potato brain. So shut up. You're doing it wrong. You need to press your forearm and get it into the back of his neck. Grab your elbow with the other hand and choke him right out. What do you want, mister? Yeah, mister. What do you want? Sign outside, says Heston Sons. Which one is the, is the older boy? Me. I'm Mickey. You know? So that leaves me in charge when Dad is gone and or not. Mum said Mum was nothing to do with it, sister. Help you with something, Sam Hess? You know, who wants to know? Me. Only two reasons to come for my shop friend. Either you need a truck or you drive a truck. Yeah, you're a truck driver. I'm just talking to your boys. I think the younger one's a little dim. What did you say? His HQ is low, I'm saying. Have you ever heard him tested? Hit him, Dad. Yeah, Dad, hit him. I'm going to restrain myself. You know the count of you got an, an, an obvious head injury. Not, uh, not beat you to death with a tie iron. Are you going to ask you again? What the heck do you want? I just wanted to have a look at you. Are you okay? What do you do? How does a grown man fall his own feet? It was ice. I slipped on ice. Should have. We should have cancelled. Oh, don't be a baby. Hi, here we are. We're here. Hey, come on in. Chaz is working the ham. Took the whole team down to Blue Roof for your Tuesday. Big spread at Melrose. Oh, I always wanted to stay there. Yeah, it's real sweet. King size bed. If you're the lake, you name it. Boss took me out for dinner. Just the two of them. Big steak. Big, just steak. Big as a catcher's mitt. Said, Chaz, you're going to places in this world. Gave him a raise and coffee office. Yeah, hear that. Lester, a coffee a corner office. Yeah, girl, good. And t- him, your own younger brother. Yeah, I said, I heard. Vice President Sales, mid re- rest of the region. Brought the surround sound to celebrate. I mean, it's pretty sweet, huh? You're going to have to marry that ham. You get any f- m- more familiar with it. Saw it on Virtual Bay. Ray. She said that the messaging breaks. The muscles melted down. Takes them, makes the meat juicier. That's the one just never wants, never, never wants to try new things. No, hold on, that's not true. We need Gordo try to stuff it. We need Gordo try stuff it all the time. Chad says he has, uh, has to open his horizons. Brilliant horizons, the big world, you know. There's more to life than the minute soda. Take a little f- tumble, huh? And then there's a spot over one of the fire stations. It's always icy. Don't know what the heck I was thinking, Lester. Oh, come out of the garage. Help me get him some more beer. Think, took Gordo to be a specialist last month. Think he might have autism. Well, it stopped drawing on the walls and Kitty. She said she found a mason jar in his closet. I guess he just pees in it at night. What's what's that about? Hey, want to see something cool? Sure, sweet. Yeah, not those. Oh, we. Oui, what's that? That here is your M two M two five four nine S A W light machine gun. So I'm going to refer to as a piglet. Are you allowed? Can you really have that? It's legal, technically, no way. But I got power, buddy power supply. Over Camp Ridley, a heck of American. I'll pay my taxes. I want to take a look. It's gas operated, air cooled. Shoot 725 rounds per minute. Oh, geez, you shouldn't tell me. You should have told me it's heavy. It's okay. No, Lester. It's not okay. You here. You broke the down. Why you should. Well, why do you set. Do, do, you such. God, shut up, screw up. Hey, now. Ever since you were here, and now Kitty. She said, talked to her pearl last night, week. You know, she had it. A wife. She said, you've been acting plain weird, just mooping around. Said she caught you standing in the bathroom with a toothbrush in your hand, just looking in the mirror. Said the foam was coming out of your mouth like a rabid dog. Oh, come on. That's, that's not how I, not how I, that's not how I may, I may not be feeling about your information. I haven't had a lot of sleep the night before. So the poof face was just nothing. 
Do you really trip on the ice and break your nose? Yeah, yes. I told myself, I told you outside the fire station. You know, they run hoses and wash the trucks. It gets all slippery and wet. Oh, your bro guys are at work. They talk about how they look up the, to their brothers, their older brothers. Sometimes I tell people that you're dead. I mean, heck, Lester, you're now 40 years old. When are you, you going to get your rack together? Your own brother. You didn't have to kill it, hit him. I mean, seriously, what's the matter with you? Your own brother, yes. Once more. Yes, one more time before the 17th. Do you need this to look like an accident? Figure it out and call me back. Real, reality. It's me, it's St. Paul. Your call was suspected yesterday. I was delayed. Problems, car troubles fixed now. Did you finish your assignment? Of course. When can you expect you and deliver if your customer age, client anxious begin? Soon, I took a detour. I ain't sure this tour is personal. So it shouldn't be more than a day or two. I'm not, I didn't do for no. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, yeah, big fella, that's good. There, yeah. no, yep. Oh, geez, where? Okay, pick me up, huh? Gonna go, homicide, money's coming to get me. Go back to sleep, hun. Love you, love you too. Thanks. I just sleeping, yep. What do you want me to write for, for cause of death? Put self explanatory. You okay there, Bill? Oh, yeah. For a bit. For up a bit ago. Not in here, I hope. Oh, no. Went out the parking lot. Wife made spaghetti for dinner. Seen a, seen a bit of... Seen bar... Seen to bath it up. I'm okay now. So long as I don't look... Oh, heck. There's Sam Hess. Hess that owns a trucking company. Yeah, there were two boys, both dumb as a dog's foot. Hold on, isn't his tied up to the syndicate of fellas at Fargo, gun and such, so they say, never given them, seen the proof. Well, Jez, you mean, I mean, you think this could be like an organised crime thing? You know, a hit or the like? I don't know what they could think yet. I said, I was warm in my bed half an hour ago. How many times have I got to tell you? You can't take, just take the sweets off one bed and stick them on another. It's unsanitary. I shake them out first. You don't have the sense of God to give a clam, do you? Go shovel the walk. I need a room. Just you, pardon? It's just you, for you, your room. What difference does that make? It's a different for you too. You've got pets, dog, cat. It's an extra ten bucks. What if, got, what if I got a fish, excuse me? Would a fish cost me ten dollars? Or what? I catch sizes of mice. What, are you, what if they had bacteria, sir? Bacteria, I or not pets could be. So the balance should be happier, a different motel. I just want to know the policy. You see, I'm a student of institutions. Sir, do you have a pet or not? Oh, no, it's just me. Why do you let her talk to you like that? Oh, she's not that bad. Son, she's compared you to a clam. Well, what should, what, what should I do? A guy insulted me once. I pissed on his curl, t- gas tank. The car never drove straight again. There were his mother's in, in. Oh, yes, madam, I'm going, looking for my widow. There's a young fellow urinating in the gas tank at the back Red Cavalier. Son of a, you little warm you up, are you up, hon? Yeah, thanks, Dad. Want to look at that? Murder life? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sam has got himself killed last night over a lucky penny. You don't say. Knife in the head. You don't say what? Didn't hear that from me. Hey, that's Mary Lou. Coffee? Sure. Eggs are medium. We don't say no. How's the leg? Goes from my arse to, to the ground, just like any other. Thinking of doing some ice fishing this weekend. So I didn't hear it. Interested? No, sir. The only thing I ever caught fishing was in the winter was a cold. Say, Chief, listen. I was thinking about this fella in the snow with underpants. Something odd about that. The same other than the fact he was just wearing underpants? Yeah. See, we know what, from the record that wherever the driving cracked their head on the steering wheel, right? But a fellow in the snow, he'd no end kind of injury, yeah. So you see, there's more good police, that's more good week police work. There, Jeopardy. Oh, thanks. But it's not, it's not the driver. I guess we've got to ask, who is he? Van in his pant, prints, nothing. Plus, turns out the car was stolen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was grand fo- folks. I called it the local PD. I just waited on call back. Any thoughts? They're on Hess? No, no, not such. 
The lady that Hess was with didn't get a good look at the fellow who killed her and count all the blood in her eyes, but, you know, we're checking the knife for prints. Also, Bill's going to the to local store to see if it, maybe the knife is bought there in Bear Army. You'll, take a good, you'll make a good chief one day. Me? What about Bill? He's got seriality. Bill cleans his gun with bubble bath. No, I'll be with and I'll be with you. I'll it be, be with you if you want. When you talk to the police, just keep it simple. Thanks, but no thanks. In other words, I already talked to Fargo. They want to deal with them. It's themselves. They're sending guys. Glad to deal with what? He was, a, was in a whorehouse. Glad he's dead. Ma, I don't talk like that. Yeah, Ma, Ma I don't talk like that. Makes me live in, makes me live in the North Pole. He's got news, so, so I'm not kidding. I want to sing at his funeral. Mr. Mickey, you have a phone call. She do, said to me, you doofus, can I help come? No, oh, geez, just say we're here with Ma. Hello, Mickey. Louis Grossman, your dad's attorney, state agent, attorney. First of all, I'd like to say how sorry I am for your loss. Next thing is a reasonable for overseeing, responsible for overseeing the personal of dad's vast estate. You mean the money? Right. Money, real estate, holding, automobiles, and all. Well, there's no delicate way to put this. They may, they will be. This, they will, the will was very clear. Dad decided to give you everything to your younger brother, Mo. Are you kidding? I know how hard it's to hear. The, the will was very specific. I had leave the entire to my estate to my second born favorite son, Mo. That's sweet. You must have really loved that boy. Anyway, that's it. And once again, I hear you. I'm sorry for loss. Any questions, please don't hesitate to call me. Well, like I said, Miss Hess, we're checking some things out at our end. But if there's something you can tell us about the husband's business, appreciate the visit, Chief. But Miss Hess and her own kind of involvement with sound business. Frankly, she's mystified her husband being a pillar of the community and all. I mean, heck, Bodie had been enjoying business for a year, 1906 and 1998. Who was it? Yeah, like I said, it's a puzzler. Because we both have some boys. Because we both know some of our boys had a run-in with the law in the past. So the murder shows, charges and like. You know the states that that just, that case that cases may be about that got ties into criminal out 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 in Fargo. Well, you're going to stand there? Let me get this straight. You want to stand here and call the victim a criminal in front of his wife? His kids? Well, no one's coming calling anyone a criminal. Just trying to figure out what happened. Chief, run in number 217, 217. Oh, and how's, how's now the weather? Don't need me to tell you. It's a gold one out there. And as of right now, nothing much has changed. So let's take a look at where we are. What the heck? We've got five degrees in Dolphin. Hey, Lester. Oh, hi, bro. Jeez, who what happened to your face there? You know the spot where the fire station? Where the, the washed the trucks? Yep, slipped on the ice. Oh, tsk. say, Lester, I need you to pull up the farm, Sam Hess. Oh, what now? Sam Hess, you know, I was a truck up with Robert Winslow. You know, big fella. Yeah, well, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shame. It's a big policy murderer. They're saying, stabbed to death. Is that what I heard? Yeah, it's, you're okay, Lester? Sure, oh, sure. You know, I went to high school with him. You don't say, well, wait, anyone? I need a pull, a policy on that. I have to get on the phone with his wife later. Do you do this? Did you really kill him? Sam, oh my God, he's damn dead. How did you feel about that? Well, I mean, of course, if you know, if you know an atrocity. Well, you killed him then. Now, hold on a second. I never. Well, actually, you did. Remember? Yes or no? I remember. I never said yes. Didn't say no. No, then, well, come on. I won't. I won't. In the court of law. Who said anything about a court of law? I mean, jeez. He and his wife, you know, those boys, Lester, got you in a barrel, rolled you in the, in the road. The problem is you spent your whole life thinking about the, the rules. They aren't. You, you, we used to be gorillas. We had what we... We had... It, all we had is what we could take and defend. Truth is, you're more man today than you were yesterday. How do you think of that? It's red tide, Lester. This lame life of yours. The shit that made us eat every day after day. The boss, the wife, etc. Clean us, wear us down. Didn't, if you don't stand up, you let them know you still an ape down, deep down. The couch is just going to get washed away. Phone call, chief. 
to wife. Hey, hon, white. White what? I decided we were going to paint the worst for you white. It's already white. I want to paint it again. A baby's room should have a new coat. Don't you think? I do. Oh, take the shade? What do you mean? Well, you got bright white, snow, white eggshell. Right, and that's eggshell. It is so. Okay, I never thought that. I'll tell you what. Why don't you stop by the hardware chair store? Hold oh, and pick up some different shades. We'll figure it out tonight. We're having a baby, Vern. That's true. No, I mean, it's funny shrinking, sinking in. We're going to have a baby. I can't wait. I'll see you soon. Is there anything else you need there? Nope. I'm good. Come in, Chief. This is them. Go ahead, Chief. I wanna, I'm, I'm over the hospital. Hospital. I was checking the Hess boy. Huh? And how is he? Oh, you know, broken collarbone. Got his bell rung pretty good. That's a shame. Hey, how do I go? Hey, so I'm not talking to Rose Sue Roundtree. I asked if uh, she had any head injuries lately. You know, my theory about the drive and the wreck. She said she did. They said they did yesterday. Real peculiar fellow, she says. Real intense. That's, here's where it gets interesting, because she says a fellow with a head injury was talking to another fellow about Sam Hess. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Says he, too, was figures as fees. So suddenly, I'm thinking maybe there's two cases. Maybe they're connected. And I could be, she says. Do you see who the other fellow was? Lester Nigard. Really? Oh, you know him? Sure, I know Lester. So it's a shop. It's a Bob's shop. Bob's shop. Yeah. Yeah, I called over. There's clothes, so I'm going to go to Lester's place. No, I know Lester. I'll do it. Oh, you call it a day. You go to work. Lester, I'm in the basement. What a, what's it doing, hon? I'm trying to fix a damn thing. It looks like a motorbike broke. Motorbike broke. You sure you know what you're doing? It sounds pretty straightforward. you going to give it a try. Nothing in it. Oh, better for a test, I'm saying. Turn it off, turn it off. You killed it. You killed my washing screen. No, it, I, I, I was, I was tired, you know. I was standing up for the, I was bringing a man. You're not the man, Lester. You're not even half a man, honestly. I don't know what got to, got you to, got into me marrying you. Man said, don't do it, pal. Said, you're the kind of boy that loses all the time. You know what those boys grown up to be, don't you? Losers. Take that back. Oh, what? What are you going to do? You can't even face me when you're having sex. Now, hold on. Well, you're not facing me. So that's, that's so I put you a real man. You'll take that back. Oh, what? What are you going to do? You're going to hit me? That, oh, that's, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, it's, it's me. Go help me out. I've done something bad. Leroy's motor in. Oh, hi. Can I have room 23, please? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's me. It's Lester. She's my wife. My wife. Oh, hell. Oh, look. I think she's uh, in the basement dead. Oh, look. I'm freaking out here. I don't know what to do. Lester, I've been a bad, bad boy. Have you been a bad boy? Jeez, yeah. Hammer and look. Could you come over? I will a creek drive. Number 613. Please, please. Sure, Lester. I'll be right there. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. What did you do? You killed her. What did you do? You killed her? You killed her. Hey there, Lester. Woo! Try to get down. To ten tonight. Why is ten tonight? I hear. Pearl home? No, no. She's out of my brother's. Okay then. How's the nose? Oh, it hurts. How do you have it anyway? Slipped over at the fire station. Ouch. How do you, have you go, do you go to the hospital? Mm, yeah, you say it. You talk to anyone like, are you there? Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's the reason I'm here. I'm not sure you heard. Sam has got killed last night in a very penny. Oh yeah, Nancy business. When I heard you were talking to the other fella that had before he died out of over at the hospital. No, I don't think so. What is his name again? The other fella? You okay, Lister? You seem a bit 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 jumpy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, you know. Oh pal, you gotta could be home soon. Uh Lister, listen to me very carefully. We need you to get down on the ground. Now wait. Just wait a second. Lester on the ground. It's not what it looks like. Now hold on, hold on. Don't. Don't go down there. Down, don't. There's nothing down. That's not. I don't. Don't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't. I just got home. Just got home and there's nothing down there. That's the, that. No, it's not. I'm not doing nothing. I don't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I came home. Just came home. This is Chief Newman Truman. At 613 Willow Creek Drive. Requesting backup. 613 Willow Creek Drive. Chief. 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 Any more? Lister. There are. Are there any more cops? What did you tell him? Nothing. You asked about Sam. Got any more shells for this thing? No. Is that is that basement police are here? 
I said the police are here. What do we do? Officer down. Roger that. Confirming code three. Bermondsey police. All units. Officer in need of immediate assistance. 613 Willow Creek Drive. Bermondsey police. Is there someone in the house? Come up your hands up. Molly. Oh God. Down here. Father, the husband's alive. Jeez, Dad. Come on in, Dad. Over. Yeah, Dad. Here. Come back. My team's up by thirteen. Up, up by thirteen. Here, yeah, over. What's happened? Over. Kicked in the other field goal. Over. Sweet. Brush your teeth. Over. Yeah, over. Homework. Over. Oh, did my sight some raffs and tyres. I still have to do English. Over. Okay, you speak. We are as soon as the game's over. Over. Evening, officer. Evening. Licence and registration, please. We do it that way. I asked you asked me for my papers. I'll tell you it's not my car. I'll borrow it to see where things go from there. We could do that. Or you could we could not get into your car and drive away. Now why would I do that? Because more well, some roads you shouldn't go down because the map used to say there'd be dragons here. Now they don't. What do you what well, that doesn't mean the dragons aren't there. They come on in come in, Dad. Over. you step out in the car, please, sir. How old's your kid? I said step out of the car. Dad, come in. Dad's over. Tell, let me tell you what's going to happen, Officer Grimley. I'm going to roll my window up, but I'm going to drive away. I'm going to go home to your daughter every f- few years. You're going to look at her face and know you're alive because you chose to go down a certain road a certain night. Uh, you chose to walk in the light instead of the darkness. You understand me, sir? Sir, I'm rolling up my window. Dad, come in, Dad. Over. Dad, are you there? Over. So I've got two kinds of sandwich. Tuna and turkey. Tuna's, tuna's for the fish. Unless you think there's, so, think there's cannibalism. You know, I've been looking for more help at the restaurant. You know, someone that seat customers that answer the phone. A hostess? That's what they call it. Yeah. Anyway, not sure. It's something you might be interested in. I'm a police officer, Dad. Well, sure, I know that. I also know people in this world are less inclined to spot shoot a hostess and say an officer law. That's true. So you mean you're going to help your old man out? Nope. Then maybe you could put th- that in the ad. Listen on a second thought. I think I'm going to head into work. Rain check on the fishing. Sounds good. Love you, Dad. Love you, hon.